the age-old debate, PC versus Mac. Today, we're going to figure out what Apple has in store for our screen reader users. That's right, we're doing a deep dive on VoiceOver for Mac. Let's clarify something right out of the gate. The screen reader on this iPhone and the screen reader on this MacBook are completely different screen readers, but they are both called VoiceOver. The screen reader on this iPhone is called VoiceOver for iOS. It involves using gestures like swipes, flicks, and double taps, and is relatively easy to learn. The screen reader on this MacBook, however, is called VoiceOver for Mac. It involves using keyboard commands and is really, really hard to learn. That's right, VoiceOver for Mac is hard, but not impossible to learn. With the right instruction, I've seen many students very happy with their Mac. The reasons that you would choose a Mac over a PC are the reasons anyone would choose a Mac over a PC. The fast processor, snappy design, and proprietary apps. But if this is the direction you're going to go, I'm letting you know now you're in for a journey. The benefit of using VoiceOver for Mac is that VoiceOver is available on every Mac in the world, just like Chromebox. No downloads, no installs, you just turn it on. Here's a cost-benefit breakdown of VoiceOver for Mac. Pros. There are many ways to navigate using VoiceOver for Mac. You can either use keyboard commands or you can use gestures on the trackpad. It also works very well with low vision accessibility options. They usually can work seamlessly together. And of course, VoiceOver comes on all Macs and all MacBooks. There's no downloads and no installs. The cons are VoiceOver works a bit different from other screen readers. So it'll be quite an adjustment if you're transitioning from JAWS, NVDA, or Chromevox. VoiceOver key commands usually involve holding down two, three, or even four keys while pressing another key. It's not great for people who have low finger dexterity. And of course, Macs are pretty expensive. That's it for our Tech Tip Tuesday deep dive series. Remember, Tech Tip Tuesday is moving to our Facebook group, AT for VI Professionals. So if you do like these videos, move on over there for weekly tech tips. Hey. If you like this video and want more content like it, use the link below to sign up for our Screen Reader Tidbits emails. These emails come out every week and show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do the most basic screen reader skills. If you want the latest Tech Tip Tuesday videos, you can join our Facebook group, AT for VI Professionals. The link is below. We'll see you there.